The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, hello and welcome. Today is our favorite day of the week. At least it's my favorite day of the week. It is Wednesday, and Wednesday is Q&A day here on Staffing Preneurs Academy. And I am super-duper-duper excited that you guys are here joining us for the best call of the week <laughs> where you can gain lots of information, get your questions answered, celebrate successes, all of those great things in regards to your niche recruiting and staffing agency business. And let me just tell you guys right now, staffing is a big, hot conversation. Okay. It is one of the hottest conversations that are taking place in business right now outside of e-commerce and you guys are in a very great space i don't think a lot of you know that or even have a level of appreciation for where for the type of business that you're involved in but i don't there was an article that went out yesterday i'm prepping to go on a few conferences in the next couple of weeks and the big conversation i'm going to learn and when people i've had two people actually see me sign up and have personally reached out to me and said you're the lady who does the staffing is that correct i'm like yeah <laughs> and they want to know more I mean, it's even getting to the point where this is kind of weird, though. I called my mom last night to check in on her, and um, she told me that she went to a church event in Miami, Florida, and one of the pastors, like, literally chased her, <laughs> chased her down, was calling her and chased her and said, I heard somebody said that your daughter teaches people how to start staffing businesses. And she's like, yeah, how did you know that? She said, it's a huge business. He said, I'm a Mason and, you know, we have lots of jobs. We have lots of connections and lots of people who need those connections, who need that work. And I want to see how I can make that happen for my church community. And can you please give your daughter my number? And I was like, really? And, you know, so... There are a lot of different people. There are a lot of different things. I'll be in Vegas the first week in April for a, a conference on SEO marketing and trafficking, traffic, trafficking, traffic. And um, there were the, the organizer actually, when I signed up, reached out to me directly and said, I want to learn more about staffing. We're having another convention coming up in a couple of months. And I'm hoping that, you know, you can kind of talk. Would you be interested and, and being a keynote speaker for that platform. So what I want you guys to know today is just how blessed you are to one, to be in a community with people that are walking this journey with you and that are go, you know supporting you. Um, but to two, to have, to just be in the industry right now because it's blooming, it's blossoming, it's growing. And there's so many different options. A lot of you, um, a lot of staffing preneurs come in and they take the same route of um, admins and project managers, which is fine. But the money is really in those positions that you do not find commonly. And, and those, that is where businesses are really open to really adding, putting more money out there to find the right people and the right talent. So I just want to give you guys kudos for being on this call. I want to give you guys kudos for being in your business, doing your thing. High five, high five, high five. My tech, my messages are going off like crazy on my phone. And um, it is just, it's just an amazing business, an amazing day to be a staffingpreneur. Hello. So <laughs> I'm not going to talk long today because I've been getting messages like, I can't wait to the Q&A call. I got a lot of questions. But I just wanted to throw that out there really quickly. And before I say my hellos, because I see them coming in in the Q&A box, before I say my hellos to everyone, I just want to give a shout out to one of our staffingpreneurs. We're not throwing the name out just yet because we're waiting for the offer to come through. But we're talking about a $35,000 plus placement fee that's coming through the split sport. I mean, awesome. Yes, give us some love, love, give us love, love. Okay, we've had four major placements on the split for this first quarter. And um, and that's right. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Latasha. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you, Pam. 
Four major placements on the split sport. This last one is really going to take us through the roof. We've got a ton of new people coming into the split sport. If you are not working the split sport, you're missing out because the word is getting out that we're, we're doing pretty good. And I keep coming at y'all, put my whip. Y'all got to make good submittals and it's working because you're making great submittals. And now hiring managers are calling us directly saying we need, we need, we need, we need. And some of these positions are exclusive only to staffing preneur splits. So if you're not working the split sport, you are missing out. Okay. I'm just letting you know right now you are missing out. Um, and, and until I see more activity on the split sport, I refuse to bring in uh, more salespeople to bring in more exciting jobs because I want to make sure you guys are going to fill the positions that are there right now. Okay. So if you're not working the split sport, you're missing out. If you're looking for money to get you started, experience to get you started in the system, the split sport is where, where it's at. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than to have all of the resources put right there at your hand, at your fingertips. The one thing I just want you guys to remember is that Staffingpreneur Splits does not make the final decision on whether a candidate goes through or not. Staffingpreneur Splits does not make the final decision on whether a candidate is hired. It is never up to us. It is always up to the client. And the client only chooses the right people based on the quality of the submittal that you submit. So if you are not submitting a quality submittal, you cannot expect for the hiring manager to want to interview your candidates or to make any placements. You can submit a thousand times on my splits board. You can submit a thousand times to a client directly. It doesn't matter. If your quality sucks, you will not get the interview and you will not get the placement. If your quality is what exactly what that word means is quality, then you can sure ensure a win every time. The staffingpreneur that has made this last placement with that large fee, they attended my boot camp class in November. Okay. They launched their business, I want to say in February, um, late January, early February, and they're already at a placement fee larger than some people's salaries for the year. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It is very possible. It is very doable. And that's not just for, for job orders on the splits board. That's for job orders, it, regardless of you working with your client or not. Okay. So I wanted to throw that out there really quickly. Also, I wanted to mention that, um, oh, one thing I really wanted to mention to you guys is when you're working on the splits board versus working with your clients, there should be sort of two different types of mentalities there, okay? With When you're working on a splits board, the job orders are already given to you. So you're really functioning from a perspective of you're going out and you're looking for active people, some passive people for sure, but you're actually posting jobs without the client's name, without the salary for our clients because they specifically asked for that, okay? So you're going out, you're posting, and you're attracting these candidates so that you can fill these positions right now, right? When you are recruiting for yourself, you really need to have a target list. You really need to have a strategy about how you're going to find the clients that you're looking for. You should have a target 100. These are the top 100 companies that I want to work with. And those, those companies should be diversified, small, medium, big, and giant. You should not be calling all giant companies or all big companies or all um, medium companies or all small companies. You should have a diverse list of clients and then have your full client pool or prospects that you're working towards on a consistent basis, okay? So the splits board is for experience, quick wins. Um, it's, it's taking you beyond the, the business development process. We're providing the business development for you. And let me just say this, not all of our positions are exclusive. Okay. Some of our positions are shared with other recruiters. You're going to find that when you're finding your own clients, just because the positions, um, some of the positions aren't exclusive doesn't mean you don't work them. Like, that's the biggest excuse that I've been hearing lately. Well, these jobs are somewhere else. So what? That doesn't take away the opportunity that you have to make the placement. 
Excuses are for bullshitters. Sorry, Christians. Excuses are for, I mean, you, I mean, excuses are for bullshitters. You do not create excuses as to why you cannot succeed. I would love to go work on a position that everybody else that everybody else has, and then I go in and rock that position out and make the placement. I don't care about everyone else and what they're doing. I don't care if the position is posted in 80 different places. That client still has that position open. That is still an opportunity for you to make a placement, for you to impact somebody's life, all right? for you to impact somebody's life and for you to make some money. So why are you guys complaining? And I'm not fussing. I'm just want to keep things into perspective in your mind because I find a lot of staffing preneurs, we get messages, Amanda and I on the side. I, you know, I don't want to do, this is elsewhere. I don't, come on now. That, does that stopping you from making a placement? How is it help? How is that, that energy and time that you guys are putting in, emailing us about your complaints, that's the same level of energy and time you can be putting in to finding your candidates. I said it. Hello. Putting it out there. Okay. Now, this is a closed session, so I can really talk to you guys. Rachel, and listen, I got to say real quick, I've been calling Rachel Raquel since she joined the Academy. She sent me this nice little email yesterday. It was like, I just need to let you know that is not my name. <laughs> embarrassed so my um she said but she likes it as an alter ego so to my rachel i absolutely love you um but to my raquel using the alter ego she said right d don't give up before you try and and that's right latasha said i love it and that's the thing a lot of you guys are finding excuses as to why you can't do it in your business why your counterparts are out there doing it they don't have time for excuses excuses do not exist in their mind okay so i want you to start conditioning your mind conditioning your mindset if there's an open opportunity and you have a network of those people go after it make it yours do your darn thing you can do this guys i promise you i've been doing this for years you can call anybody in the recruiting and staffing industry and ask them how's d's work what has d done and they will tell you and i'm not the only one and I just feel like you guys put this like little barrier over yourself that if you would really release it and let it go, you will see everything flow freely to you. It's all it takes is you've got to let your barriers go and to let your success flow to you freely. When you do that, oh my gosh, you'll be on the Facebook group or calling me and texting me saying, D, oh my gosh, you would never believe what just happened. Oh my goodness, you'll never believe this, okay? So that's my pep talk for the day because I love you guys and I want to see you succeed. Giving a shout out to Lori Struby. She is now a certified women-owned business. Woo! Doing her thing, taking her business to the next level. She is rocking it out on placements and so forth. Lori has never been a recruiter. She has been in the HR space. We do have some HR directors and managers on here. HR is different from recruiting. So I had somebody email me and say, well, Lori doesn't count because she's been in HR. That does not matter. HR and recruiting are two totally different roles, okay? So she still went through my one-on-one -on -one class. She still had to learn the recruiting business. I don't even know if she's on this call because I haven't even looked at the law. But she still had to learn the business. So she's a beginner just like you. The only difference is, is that she's putting her time and her work in and she's got an open mindset about how she's going to progress okay and she's matter no matter what Lorraine tell me again and she's making it no matter what she's doing it Rachel says woo go Lori Ashley said woo okay so I just want to give some quick shout outs here quarter one is ending are you guys ready for quarter two where's your mindset at quarter two we've got a number of staffing preneurs that are launching in April I know Rachel's launching in April we're ready to see you do your thing my love we know that Ashley Harrison, yes, April 4th. Yes, I love it. Getting her business in. We've got a number of businesses that are actually launching. Rachel says April 5th. So people are launching their business this month, right? And, and we want to give them some love and keep supporting them every step of the way as they walk through this 
beautiful entrepreneurial journey together, right? We're going to do this together. All right. So I just want to send some love to everybody that's on this call. Um, oh, I want to give a quick shout out to Janelle. This is her first Q&A call. And um, she actually is coming into this business, never done recruiting and staffing before, I believe. Um, she already has two contracts that she's working on in the healthcare space, and she's working with me one-on-one -on -one consistently to help solidify her business and to make everything perfect for her business. So she's doing it. Janelle, way to go on your business. Congratulations. I love it. Um, love it. I miss Ryan Nelson, y'all. I can't believe it. I miss Ryan Nelson on this call. All right. So I just want to give a shout out to Amanda, Ashley, Ashley. We got both Ashleys on the call. Uh, Ashley, how in the house? She did an awesome video. Go Ash, stepping out your box. Yes. I love it. I love it. Uh, we've got Janelle, Latasha. Hey, Latasha. We got Latasha Richardson and Latasha Sky. Linda. Hey, Linda. Lorreen, Mark is here. Who's helping us out. Mark has already created um, the Go-Getters Facebook group. He will be going in today. And all the people who um, replied to the comment in the Facebook group where they are and what stage they were in their business, he's going to add you to that group according to where you are. If you haven't made it to that place yet, that's okay. You'll get there. Um, if you have made it to that place, then way to go. You're going to be in the Go-Getters group different level of training that will take place in that group, just so you know. Natalie's on the phone. Naron, I have not talked to you in so long. Hey, Naron, how's Rena? <laughs> uh, we've got Natalie Johnson, Pam Scott, um, Rachel slash Raquel Alter Ego. We've got Renasha. Renasha, I've got your graphics for you. Uh, we've got Ronaldo, Robin, Ramona, Stephanie, Steven, Tanya. The list is going on and on and on. Hey, staffing preneurs. All right. Woo! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Congratulations, Naron. Naron says, Rena is good, and we are having a baby. Oh, congratulations on your new bundle of joy. Congratulations, Naron. That is amazing. I hope your baby will be a good staffing preneur too. <laughs> okay, great. So I'm going to start answering some of the questions that have come in already. And what I'll do is I'll open the lines for the individuals who, um, who are asking questions. If you have questions, please state that um, you either have a question or put your question into the Q&A box so that I can get to it. The comments are rolling in so fast, I have to kind of sometimes go in and um, and you see me looking to the right because the comments are on my screen to the right. So um, I want you guys to put your questions in the box. I've got some emails stating, hey, Ronaldo, um, that you guys have a lot of great questions here. All right. First question. Um, Amanda says um, this. Oh, um, the staffingpreneur who made that big placement. We're waiting for the offer coming in. She made that placement on the split sport and she is currently still working a full-time job. All right. Way to go. Talking about grinding, getting your grind in. Thanks, Amanda, for that. I appreciate you for that. Um, Lorraine said, we have to have our business legalized before we can use the split sport, right? Well, the reality is, is when you make a placement, we're going to send you a contract, right? So you definitely, we, we're going to write a check out to you, right? So you definitely want to be able to cash your check. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have it legalized before you join the split sport, but before you get your first offer, you definitely do need to have it legalized. Some of the jobs, there's a 30 day guarantee, which means you won't get paid until the 30 day guarantee is up. Some of the jobs, there are a 60 day guarantee. Some are a 90 day guarantee. As soon as the guarantee is up, that's when we get paid. When we get paid, the moment we get paid, we immediately cut you a check and send it on out to you. And it's written to your business name. So if you want to be able to deposit it, you definitely want to have your um, your business legalized, your EIN number and a bank account so that you can get your check in there. OK, um, do, 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 do. what else? Steven asks, when submitting a contract to a client, do you have to sign it first? I typically have the client sign it first and then I go back and sign it. But I've seen contracts roll over where you you have signed it first and then you're just waiting on their signature. 
So it's whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't think that there's like a method to the madness for that one. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with for that contract. Some people do sign the contract ahead of time. Um, Latasha says, to save me money, is it okay to use a P.O. box on my website and business cards? Don't want to pay $99 a month for space I won't use daily. You actually don't have to put an address on your website or on your business cards at all. The address is for your billing initially. Okay, I don't know what just happened here. Did y'all see that on my screen? I don't know what just happened. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> y'all know I'm still getting used to my Mac, so bear with me. Um, so again, so you, you know, you, that would be for your billing. If you're doing this business from home and you'll be meeting your clients virtually, or you'll be going out to meet them. I do think it's okay to have a PO box. You want to check with your state. Like if you're dipping, if you're dive, dipping and diving with business with the government, they're going to require you to have an office. Um, if your niche is healthcare, uh, they're probably going to require you to have an office. So check with your state. Um, on that, Steven, okay, Marina, Naran, let's see, to save money, also Latasha, I hope that was helpful, Latasha, um, Naran said, is the split network for C to C placement too? Typically, no, however, I think we've had a couple of, not for C to C placement, but we have had a couple of placement that have been placed on an hourly basis, so, um, which was kind of weird to me, because we haven't gotten that far just yet. But no, not for C to C. And most of the time, to be honest with you, C to C placements are um, no. So let me just say that. So no, we have not done that just yet. Okay. All right. So any other questions? Questions are rolling in. Yes, sir. Naran, that is really right now, it's just for full-time placement. And this is just for your bottom line money, right? And so I always tell people your your splits. Or is a part of your business development model. Some people use splits as their only financial revenue, um, you know, avenue. And I don't think that that is the best way to run this business unless you're looking just for, you know, just for the experience or small placements. Really, the, the best way to really excel in this business is to have your own clients as well as to share clients on a, with a split with someone. We're providing that piece of the business. It's still your responsibility to go and to find your own clients, okay? Um, how long does your business have to exist before you can qualify for a MWBE certification? That I do not know for sure. I don't want to tell you a story. I, would, I mean, you might not like me for this after, but you got to Google it or reach out to them. I would suggest that you reach out to them and start to establish a relationship with them anyway, if that's something that you're looking to go after. Um, but I'll tell you that um, that Lori started her business. I'll tell you the, exactly when she started her business. If you give me one second. Um, Lori started her business on, on September 1. So as of March 1st, it was six months. And um, and so maybe it only needs to be in business for six months in order to get certified because she is certified now. Um, let's see. Rachel says, is it normal for direct hire recruiters to have a replacement guarantee or is that more of a contract or contract to hire type of thing? Um, direct hire recruit, recruit, everyone should have a replacement guarantee. And you see it, in my opinion, more on the direct hire side than you do on the contract side. On the contract side, it's given. You know, if the candidate doesn't work out, you replace them. It's just given. On the direct hire side, that's where the real guarantee comes in because they've already, you know, they may have paid you. Some people will pay you in advance. I told you last week, if you want to get paid faster, ask your client, to tell them that if they pay you within the first 10 days of receiving the invoice, even though the guarantee is not up, then you'll take a percentage or two off of the placement fee, right? So if they do that and the guarantee is not up and the candidate sucks or something happens and that candidate doesn't work out, then you've got to re you've got 30 days to replace that candidate or you've got to pay the camp you've got to pay the client back for 
you know, you got to pay the client back for the time that that candidate was no longer working. So that replacement guarantee really um, stands still, that really stands firm on the um, on the direct hire side more on the, than on the contract side. I hope that was helpful, Rachel. Did that make sense, everyone? Not just Rachel, but did that make sense? Yeah, she says, oh, okay, I see. So it's meaning replacing the person for a person. Right, on the contract side, you're and, and on direct hire side, the replacement guarantee is you're replacing that person, right, that you, that you lost. But on the direct hire side, you're, if they've paid ahead of time, you know, then you're definitely going to have to pay them back if you can't replace that person within 30 days. So you want to make sure that you have a great relationship with your candidate. And I'm going to say this and I may get smacked by, you know, smacked on the hand by my seasoned recruiters. But if you have a great relationship with your candidate, you can encourage them to stay on contract until the guarantee period is up. And then, then you don't have to worry about that placement fee. And then if they do decide to leave, then you would have, you would occur, you know, incur a whole new placement fee from that client versus you losing your fee. And then while you, since you already know they're looking, you can take that time to start already developing your next placement um, to replace that person. So that can be done. Um, Tanya says, how can you tell on the splits board how long the guarantee period is? It's not really stated on there. I think that that's something that we can continue to add or that we'll add on the older positions. We have not on the newer positions. I believe we started doing so. Amanda, you can correct me um, if not. So um, that's something we can definitely do once we post the job description to let you know how long the guarantee period is. Um, and for the new people, do not get discouraged with the third, um, with the 90 day guarantee because in 90 days you'll be very happy. Okay. <laughs> so today it may not be where you want it to be, but, but that staffing preneur that's making a placement, she knows in 90 days, she's about to get a fat check, you know? So that's, so you know, and you never know where you're going to be in your business in 90 days, right? So just that, don't let that discourage you. Um, Lorene says, I was told that I can use a PO box, but still had to have a physical address registered for the legal application. I believe that is 100% correct. So you still may have to pay that $99 a month, whoever stated that um, for the, um, for your office, your business, my love your business. So it's okay. To, I mean, that's a fee that you're incurring, but if you are working, if you're working in your business, not just on your business, but in your business to make great placements, that $99 is not going to mean anything. It's going to be a small sacrifice for maybe 30, 60 or 90 days. And then it'll pay for itself over the, the number of placements that you make. Um, Rachel, uh, Rachel says, okay, I see. Okay, Nally said it makes sense. Janelle says, is 90 or 180 day guarantee too long? In my opinion, yes. And for our job orders, we are literally um, working to hopefully um, negotiate some of those 90 days to a, a shorter because that's no longer the norm in the industry, to be honest with you. That's just the way we set up the contract with our clients. Um, you know, but that's, and that's really because a lot of that is because we're dealing with some newbies here. Right. But, you know, you've got to understand that, um, that, um, that uh, the question, I'm sorry, I got, I was reading a question and got side place the 90 day. If you are doing a contingency placement, uh, which is the industry standard, there's no way I would typically do a 90 day. When I brought my client onto the split sport, it was a 30 day guarantee. I mean, it was a, yeah, it was a 30 day guarantee because it was contingency because I don't get paid unless I make the placement and we never made a placement with them. You understand what I'm saying? So we put in a lot of work and didn't get the placement. If you have an engaged search or a, um, or a, um, a retainer search, then your guarantee should be a lot longer because you're getting a portion of the money up front. But if it's a contingency, I'm talking 30 days with your own clients on a split sport. It may be, um, Robin, I'll talk to you offline about that because, um, you made changes to your account. And, um, so I don't think that that's still available. 
Um, yes. Yes, I am, Amanda. Is that bad? <laughs> um, let me know. <laughs> um, I mean, okay, sorry. Um, Latasha says, I will be attending a PA conference, a phys physician's assistance conference in a few weeks. I will only have business cards and brochures for potential candidates still waiting on the website to be built. Do you recommend? Just let them know what phase you're in and, and let them feel your personality. And um, I think that you'll be fine. Um, and when when will the website be built? When will it be finished? Do you have an estimated two weeks? And you're attending next. So maybe it, maybe it can be done before you get there. And if it's not done, ask them to put a landing page up, which takes 30 minutes to an hour to put a landing page up. So if somebody does go to the website, they at least have something that they can see and that they can add in um, and, and can use and look at on, on the system. Um, do, 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 what else? I'm missing Renasha. I didn't see Renasha here today. Okay, let's see. I know I did. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting slapped for telling you guys to keep the candidate on until the 90 day guarantee. Um, and um, and that is not that is not something that you should ultimately do. Uh, but again, I have I, I'm just going to keep it real. Listen, I'm not one that is not. OK, so let me just say thank you, Latasha. I'm being honest. That is not something that you should do. However, if you have a great relationship with your candidate, you do not want your candidate to stay in a position that they don't want to be in because they're not going to give their all. You do not want the client to be with someone who doesn't want to be there. I'm just keeping it real. And yes, of course, your, your candidate should be telling you, I don't want to stay in this job. And so if you're not prepared to replace that candidate just yet, yes, I am recording this call. I said it. Have your candidate, you know, just ask your candidate, can you hold out a little bit longer? You know, and then it, even if you want to not charge the client an additional fee and just do the replacement, that's fine. But at least you don't have to give your fee back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you can do it either way. So you can just not, you you know, you can set it up. So maybe it's that you don't, you just don't charge them an additional fee even after the 90 day guarantee. But if, if you know that you understand, but that will give you a time to get a better resume, a better candidate who really wants to be there. And, and you don't have to give your money back. It's hurtful to replace $30,000 when you've already spent it in your mind. Right? Can I get a hello? Anybody with me on that? I don't know about you, but I don't never want to give give my money back if you know after it's. I mean, yeah. Thank you guys. I mean, I think you guys are feeling me on that, right? So, you you know, I say always be ethical, but you also are running a business, and you also want to make sure that your clients and your candidates are happy. So sometimes you may walk that little line. I am getting smacked on the hand for this, but. Sometimes you may want, you've got to walk that thin line just a little bit in order for you to get to, you know, to your next destination. Um, Latasha Sky, just want to say great job on attending your PA conference. That's awesome. How many of it? Yeah, Rachel said 50 Shades of Grey. How many of you guys are attending conferences? How many networking events are you attending per week? Because that's really where you're going to get major business development. If you're in the academy, I give you six ways to develop business. And one of those, I have three more ways we're going to do some live trainings on. But you have six ways to develop business. Splits is one. Networking events are one. Most people are doing the typical cold call. Not even have a target list to do a warm call. Okay? Your business is not going to grow that way. All right? You've got to find out and figure out what is your, where, where's your comfortability level and mix a little bit of everything into your, um, into your strategy. How many of you guys have a strategy written? How many of you literally have white paper and board and you have a strategy? This is what I'm doing this way. This is how I'm doing it that way. Where's your strategy at? I just want to know. You can't be a CEO without having a strategy. 
Who has a strategy on this call right now? Okay. We've got people coming in and out of this call. I see the numbers jumping up to 30, down to 17, back up to 26. So I think some people are having issues or at work. I want to see the numbers. Who has a strategy? I'm not just talking about a business plan either. I'm talking about you actually have written it out, pen and paper, what you want your strategy to look like. Okay. Some days, Latasha, every day. Latasha, every day. Wake up every morning working on your strategy. Robin said yes. Raquel said yes. Rachel says yes. It's me. Steven says I. Um, okay, great. Ashley Harrison says there's a women tech conference in LA this week and I'm going to. If any of the other LA staffing preneurs want to join her, please reach out to her. She is down for the cause. All right. Lauren says, is, is that like the business canvas? It can be, yes. It definitely can be. Ashley Harrison says, in my daily greatness business journal, setting weekly and daily goals. You've got to do it, okay? You ask one millionaire or billionaire, or do they not have a pad and pen attached? This is mine, number one. I don't want to show y'all the blank pages. Number two, hold on. I just got to show y'all. Because you got to understand, being a CEO, it's it's about strategizing. Let's go in. Number three, I'm going to keep it going because I need you guys to know this is real. Number four, look, I'm going in my cut. Hold on, hold on, going in my cut. Number five, <laughs> you've got to have, you've got to, listen, Erica Badu, for some of you guys who don't know who Erica Badu is, she's a singer, um, a neo-soul singer. She said, that you've got to write down your goals. What you don't know is that it is a spell, okay? And she's not talking about witchcraft. She's talking about you're manifesting what you're writing. And then she said, shh, don't tell anybody. Because a lot of people aren't aware how powerful their words are, not just verbally, but written, okay? Warren Buffett, he's got journals. He's writing it out. You understand? That man still lives in the same house he's lived in all his life, driving the same beat-up car, okay? But, I mean, you know, you, you, if, if you desire to be a, a uh, not just a staffing preneur, but an entrepreneur, you've got to live the life of one, okay? Um, Amanda says you got to hold yourself account accountable. That's right. Latasha says she's in progress with hers, okay? How many of you guys are reading books about where you want to be in the future. In the car, what are you listening to? Are you listening to music or are you listening to things about business development if that's a place where you're not doing so great? Or are you listening to my audiobooks, which will be out next month? You know, are you listening to audiobooks that D has, has put together? And you guys can audio those now, really, right? You can play them on your phone, YouTube them. I'm listening to something on YouTube right now every day. And I don't just listen to it once. I listen to it over and over again until I've memorized it and then I put it into action. How many people are, are feeding, feeding the things into your mind that needs to be fed into your mind in order for you to succeed in this business? Because the reality is owning a business is not just about the work that you put into the business. But Ashley Harrison made a very valid statement this morning. It's about you feeding your body. It's about you feeding your mind. It's about you feeding your spirit and your energy, right? Okay, that's why Bree is coming on. The graphics will be out today. Bree's, Bree's coming on LOA to talk about your mindset. Amanda is focusing on the body. We need to get a trainer on here. I, my trainer is, whoo, I can't even walk you. I can't even sit down to potty. I'm hurting so bad. So we need to get somebody on here to help us get the body in shape. Because as you go to conferences, you want to feel good about how you look when you're entertaining with other millionaires and billionaires, because that is who you are. And if you guys don't believe it, it's going to be a long time before you see it. You've got to know it before you can see it. Okay. Y'all know how I get, but I just got to put it out there because I think sometimes you guys forget in, in the daily doing of things. Okay. All right. And this is not just, I'm not just telling you something in regards to Staffing Preneurs Academy or your staffing business. I'm talking about your life as a whole. And you know, you ask me how I know, ask me how I know one day, I'll tell you my story. 
and you'll be blown the freaking away. You'll be blown away if you understood what I've experienced in my lifetime. And the reason why I'm not in a different place today is because I have always seen the vision and believed it before it ever came to back to pass. And then I did things to work towards that vision and that goal that I wanted to see. I see a lot of staff entrepreneurs talking about this is hard or I'm having a hard time or not even having the right mindset. Of course, it's going to be some challenges. You're starting a business. Y'all see the quote online. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So why are you complaining about it? You should be embracing the challenge. My trainer, I, I get so angry. This hurts. He said, good. Then it's working, D. I want to just sucker punch him for saying it every time. I came home, I called Amanda. I said, Amanda, I'm hurting. She said, good, it's working, D. I said, if one more person tells me that. But you know what? It is good. It's working. So, so what? It's a challenge. Who cares? That is to be your driving motivator to get this business where you need it to be. And if you're associating yourself with people who are not in the mindset that you need them to be, in order for you to get to where you need to be, door, hand, shut them off. Listen, shut them off. You want to be around positive people who are walking a similar journey as you. They have the same type of goals that you have. Thank you, Rachel. She high-fiving me over here. Somebody is feeling this energy today. I'm not fussing, but I'm loving you. I'm showing you some love right here. You guys, we're bringing a, a credit counselor on the line slash financial planner. Many of you are having challenges because you don't have good credit. Well, let's bring somebody on the platform. See, I'm not just trying to help you start your staffing business. I want to help you transform your life, yourselves, your lives. Do you understand? So we're going to get somebody on here to help you with your credit and financial planning because as your millions are starting to manifest into your life, and for many of you, they already have, they really have, then you want to know how to manage that money. You're looking to get there. Credit is how you play the game is what my financial advisor told, tells me. He said, D, so what? You got a lot of money. If your credit is credit score is not an 800 plus, you're not playing the game. If you want to play the game, your credit score has to be perfection. So we're going to bring him on board. I've been hounding him. You've got to come into my community. I want to help my, my staff and producers transform their lives. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to do a credit challenge on here. We're doing a fitness challenge with Amanda. I'm going to talk to my, my trainer or get another trainer in. We're going to do a fitness challenge. Okay. We're going to do a, a, a LOA challenge, law of attraction. Get your mind right. Get your body right. Get your credit right. Okay, and then we're going to do, we're going to get keep doing role plays, whatever we need to do for you guys to make this business work. That is my job. And, and let me tell you, I'm excited. Y'all better be, y'all better be ready because I'm super duper excited and I don't want you guys to be left behind. And I think some of you just are not used to having somebody really to encourage you and to remind you that you can do this every day. But I'm here to tell you that this is doable. Every freaking staffing agency on this planet started off with one person and an idea. They are no different than you, period. End of sentence. You are what makes the difference. So if they can do it, why can't you do it? Right? All right. I'm getting a lot of feedback here. All right. Latasha said, yes. Lauren said, I strongly believe that knowledge is not knowledge until you apply it. Rachel, high five and me. High five, y'all. If y'all feel that energy, I just want some high fives. I'm, I'm throwing them to the screen. Please high five me. You know I love that energy. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Get it in there. Get, uh, get it in there. <laughs> get it in there. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's what. That's how you do it. Uh, Ronaldo said, good, D, it's working. Lorreen said, woo, okay. Uh, Pam, wow. Um, Naron says, I, Naron, what can you help on? Tell me. He said, I can help on that. Latasha says, LOA, I am in. Ashley Harrison says, sign me up for everything. I'm in for everything. Um, you know, so everybody is in, and I got a tons of high fives here on the box. Now, um... 
Okay, so great. So, all right. So any questions? We are at 15 minutes left for this call. I have been so inspired. I was so nervous because I today because I felt like I didn't do the research that I wanted to do to um, empower you guys today. But I guess my heart really just said what needed to be said. And I just want you guys to know that I literally, I really am thankful for each and every one of you. And, and not because you are here per se, but because you're investing in yourselves. And you guys will hear me say that all the time. It is nothing more exciting than to invest in yourselves. The goals that you guys are trying to reach on a financial level, the reason why those people are at the level they are financially is because they don't make any excuses. Do you understand? They're investing in it. They're not sitting in their car, listening to music. They're not sitting home in front of the TV. They're not doing those things. I'm just telling you right now, okay? The event that I'm going to, I tell you right now, when we sit around and we talk, none of them are talking about what happened on the Housewives of Atlanta. They're just not. They're not talking about it. What they're talking about is the last book that they read, the last YouTube video that they saw that empowered them to take the next step. The last, tra I have so many training videos right now. I promise you, I don't have enough time in a day to watch them all. But I do. I stay up late. I, I, I wake up early. I do everything that I need to do to make sure that I have the knowledge that I need to not just to implement, and I implement not just for myself, but to show you guys how to do it as well. And y'all better be prepared because my brand, my regular brand, where I do one-on-one -on -one consulting with people outside of the staffing business is about to go skyrocket. And, and these are the things that I'm putting into practice. So I will have a totally different community that will be going through this mind, body, soul, spirit, and business. All right? And business. But you guys get it first. <laughs> okay. Um, Lorene, you go to the website, Staffingpreneurs Academy, and under one-on-one, -on -one, you'll see one-on-one -on -one sessions there. I still have not gotten rid of them 100% completely because I love hanging out with you guys. Um, Rachel says, I like the book that you sent to us, D. I'm working on Finish It. It's a whole game changer for the mindset. If you're living in a lackful mindset or a, a broke mindset, that book is a great book for you to dive into because it'll shake you up and get you ready, Okay. Um, Ronaldo said, we're thankful for you. Mwah. I love you, Ronaldo. Pam said, D, you're always, you always empower beyond anything that I've experienced before. I think about you 12 and 12. I think about you 12 and a month in the morning. I know I must be pressed and pushed. I don't know. I don't know what she's saying, but I love her. Uh, I love you too, Pam. Mwah. Um, Latasha says, I did too. I love the book. Ronaldo said, what book? There's a book in the, a 12 year old mom. I love you. Yes. 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 I was a 12 year old mom and that's okay. Cause look who, look who I am today. And my son is a genius. Just so you know, <laughs> he's published over 130 books, a uh, self published and did the graphics design. And he tells people all the time, why do I do that? Because my mom said there are no excuses. My mom says there are no excuses and that's how I grew up. And that's all I know. That's what he tells people. They say, you're too hard on yourself. He says, my mom says, there is no too hard. There is no excuses. If you want something, you go after it and you leave everything else alone. And we just had that conversation again last night. So that 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 is my mindset. So when you guys see me implementing things, that's because I don't really care what anybody else has to say. It doesn't really matter to me. And I want you guys to feel the same way. It doesn't matter what somebody else is doing or what they're not doing or what they have or what they don't have. Laser focused, laser focused. Every moment, laser focused. You can still have your fun, hang out, chill with your friends, but think about who you want to be around. Are they providing value to your life or is it your past life that they're still holding on to? Okay. And I tell you guys, I say this openly. I had a best friend for 24 years. I let her go. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. My new best friend, he's a guy. He's actually listening to this call on my phone. We don't talk every day, but if I need something, if I need even motivation, he's right there. And you know why he's my best friend? Because I can be myself and I, he's pushing me when I'm not pushing myself. And when he's not pushing himself, I'm pushing him. Do you understand what I'm saying? You want to surround yourself with people who are there for you. That's why I give y'all these pep talks. 
Because if you don't have someone like that in your life, if you don't have someone like that in your life, I want to be that person for you. I really believe in you guys. I know you guys don't, everybody is not aware of that, but I really believe in you. I just need you guys to believe in yourselves. You can do this business and anything else that you want to do. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You've got to believe in yourself, though, and you've got to make sacrifices for the betterment of you and your family. It's about your legacy, period. Period. It's about your legacy. If you're not willing to make sacrifices for yourself and your business, why are you even here? Do you understand? It's a serious business. You get one life in this lifetime. You get one. What are you doing with it? Making excuses as to why it's not working, focusing on all the negativity that's around you versus focusing on your goal. Come on, guys. You can do this. Oh, my gosh. See, y'all y'all not going to do this to me on this beautiful Wednesday. Okay. Whew. Whatever. <laughs> Any more questions before I get all on here and start just boohooing over here? Um, <laughs> um, Ronaldo, the book is on the Facebook group. If you go into the file section, the book is there. You can find it. And I also emailed it to everyone in the email. Pam says, exactly. You're a genius. So what excuse can I give? That's why I look at what you did as a young mom. I appreciate you, Pam. I love you so much. Ashley Howe said, now you see where I get my crazy ideas from. <laughs> She's talking about me. I'm always telling her, step out your box. Stop doing the same thing. Um, you know, Lorraine said, I love that because I think we sometimes enable our children. We always enable our children, especially when it gets to the point where we say, this is what we say. This is how we enable them. I want to give you a better life than what I have. My oldest son says, don't give me a better life. Let me earn my better life. That's what he says. Y'all don't want me to get him on this call. Y'all think y'all y'all experience me, but y'all see him. He's grown up with it all his life. He'll be 28 years old this year. So this is me being a, a teen mom, a preteen mom, who everybody in the world has told me that I'm not going to be shit. I said it. Everyone, my mom, my family, my friends, school, everyone. And so I decided then I was going to tell him that's not the case for me and you will never experience that. We will not, we should not be enabling our children. We should be allowing them to build their own life. I don't know if you guys follow Warren Buffett, but he says he's not leaving a dime to any of his children. Does anybody know that? Huh? Warren Buffett is the richest man in the United States. One of the richest men in the world. He's not leaving a dime to his children. Why? He's not looking to enable them. Okay. Ronaldo say, are you a life coach? That is what I do on the side, Ronaldo. This has become my day job, actually. It really wasn't initially, but this has become, become my day job. And um, I am. That's what I do in with D. Williams. We're actually changing the website now, so I'm not pushing it. My radio show has come back. Yes, I'm a life coach. I am excited about people. I believe that people have way more power and energy and, and push than they give themselves credit for. But we have been brainwashed by society to think that we have a limit, period. We have been brainwashed and we're still, it's being fed into us every day that we can only go a certain, a certain, to a certain point and that people who go further are special, but they're not special. You know, the only thing that makes them special is that they were willing to look beyond what somebody told them. So my job here with you and for every person that I come in contact with and every person I come in contact with, I'm always giving them business ideas. If any of you text me on this line, y'all text me on a consistent basis. If we're friends outside of Staffing Preneurs Academy, you will know D is the same. And what am I always talking about? Business, how you can grow your business. How, what are you doing in social media? How are you marketing? You ready to make more money? You ready to take your life to the next level? That's my conversation. That's my conversation. And you know, when every time I step out there and I try to start dating, guys, they run. They run. They out of here. Oh gosh, all you do is talk about. It. Yes, because that is what empowers us. Because that when you got money, it's not the answer to everything, but you'll live way more comfortably. So why not live more comfortably? It is your birth right. It is not your right to be broke. It is your right to be wealthy. Embrace it. Live it. Feel it. Know it. Be it. That's what I say. That's how I do it. Okay. 
Now, Latasha said, oh my gosh, I need this today. You, you're greatly appreciated. Mwah, I love you. Uh, Lorraine said, you know I'm sensitive. Why are you sensitive? Oh, because I was crying. Lorraine, please, you know I'm sensitive. I just, I'm trying to wave my little hands over here so the tears don't ball up in my eyes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, Natalie said, make every day count. That's exactly right. Latasha says, love your passion, D. I am too blessed. Mwah, I love you so much. You just, just don't know. Um, this is your calling. You are so motivating. I love you, Ronaldo. Thank you. Yes, they did the work. And Lorraine said, that is so true. That's, that is so true. They keep entertaining us. I like that, Lorraine. Can I use that? Just instead of entertaining us, because that's what the TV and the horrible music that you're hearing on the radio, okay? They're entertaining you, okay? All right, we've got five minutes. Let me just say real quick about this radio thing real quick and I'm gonna let this go because this was not where we wanted to go tonight the music that I was listening to I'm a diehard hip-hop junkie okay I love KRS one I'm old school you know uh, the Jungle Brothers um, old school Queen Latifah Kanye before he became Kanye before his accident when he was mixing and scratching and making beats for a tribe called Quest and the diabolical diabolical um, you know, peoples and all of that, that, the common, that's my music. The music that has come about today sometimes does not empower us. It really feeds a message into us that is, that is not giving, okay? And, and we hear that, we sleep on it, we listen to it, and we're fighting ourselves because we're going, we're saying one thing and then we're, we're letting them entertain us through the music, which music is powerful. Okay, it's energy. So you're getting this information coming in through your radio, right? And they're telling you, um, you know, all types of things, especially about relationships. They're saying all types of things of how they're not going to work and how he needs, you know, and, and it's just programming you. It's entertaining you not to live your best life. Turn that ish off. Learn how to appreciate jazz. Learn how to appreciate classical. If you like hip hop, dubstep is awesome. There are no words. So you can make your own music, your own beat. I be in the house like, oh yeah, I don't know. There's no words. I make up my own words. And then sometimes that word is simply joy. Because every, if you say joy a, a thousand times, and if you're ever feeling down, if you're ever feeling down, I, I challenge each and every one of you. I had my daughter do this one day and it was remarkable. I challenge each and every one of you to just walk outside for 10 minutes and I don't want you to say or think of anything but the word joy. And as you walk, start creating a beat. Joy, 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 joy. And I guarantee you, your whole mindset will change. It will flip. You'll walk back into that office ready to go. You are and smiling and laughing and nobody even know what the heck is going on. But you, you've got to really work on yourself to be the best staffingpreneur, to be the best entrepreneur, you know, to be the best mom, to be the best dad, to be the best son, daughter, brother, sister, auntie, uncle, godmother, coach, trainee, to be the best being that you are, it takes work. And if you're not willing to put in the work to see your success, you will never see the success that you want. Okay, I'm going to just leave it at that. I just want to leave it at that because I think I said so much today. I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's toes. I apologize if I did. I hope you guys don't take this as me fussing because it's not. It's me loving. I apologize if you did, but I just want you guys to feel to feel good as you're working in this business and to understand that you have 100% control of the outcome of your business. And, and that's it. You have 100% control of the outcome of your business. It's you that determines the outcome. It's not the splits board. It's not D and her training. It's not Staffing Preneurs Academy. It is not the client. It is not the other staffing preneurs. It is you. It is you. You have 100% control. Okay? And you can do this. All right. Lorraine says, okay, Ronaldo said KRS One, one of my favorites. Yes. Lorraine says, Sub subliminally, we're being trained. Yes. Um, 
She's uh, Lorraine said they have underground conscious rappers. Honey, I'm all over it. I'm a hip hop junkie. <laughs> I'm all over it. <laughs> um, Ronaldo said this was done to our music on purpose, in my opinion. Strippers and drug attacks are glorified in today's music. Not only is that, and this is now we off topic, and this class is officially over, but not only is that the case, but in all music, relationships are, are they don't give relationships the union, the message that really needs to be said to remind people that two people can be one. Whether they sign that marriage certificate or not, if you have made a, a spiritual connection with someone, the music today is not like Mays and Frankie Beverly, you know, happy feelings. It is what Ronaldo said. It's about, you know, everything that's that's not good. Yeah, it's it's just it's pretty it's pretty bad. Addicts. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ronaldo. Addicts. Drug addicts, exactly. Um a Ashley Harrison said the underground conscious rappers. I think she's laughing. Um she, oh no, she wants you to publish, she wants to publish the underground conscious rappers on Facebook. She wants to get into that, so that's awesome. Okay, so Pam says, this call was the hottest yet. I have to work till midnight. Love you, love you, love you. Listen, it's one o'clock. I love you. If your answers, the answers to your questions, because I went on a little positive moment tangent today, but if the, the, the questions that you have more questions and they weren't answered, please put them on the Facebook group. If you guys notice, I am constantly responding to your questions. That is not what you, you know what you paid for, to be honest with you. My colleagues in the industry tell me I give way too much to Staffing Preneurs Academy, but I do this because I want to see your success. Put them in the Facebook group so that everyone can see them, regardless of what they are. If I don't answer them, your Staffing Preneurs will. If they don't answer them, Amanda will. Um, we've got an LOA coach that's there. She's on there once a week answering and motivating you guys. Like I said, the financial planner will be coming on. We'll be starting that sometime in mid-April, early May. I want to get your money right. Um, I'm going to talk to Amanda about us getting a, a, a fitness coach on there. And, and maybe we'll do something where we can log in and get it in if I can move my arms good enough. I love you guys. I want you guys to have an absolutely amazing Wednesday. Will you guys promise me that? I'm not going to see you until next Wednesday, but have a great Wednesday. Have a great week. Do great in your business. Walk this earth with love and positivity. High five to everyone on this awesome Wednesday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being on this call. Bye, guys. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> I love my staffing for doors. I really, 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 really do. So awesome. Okay.